Hello viewers, I'm cutting a new material. This is called Danburite. And uh, it's kind of similar to quartz. And you can cut it using the same angles. Actually the refractive index I believe is a little higher than quartz. Anyway, I've never cut a piece before. I have this small piece, so uh, I'll uh, preform it a little bit and then I'll get it docked up. The stone is now docked and I used wax. And I preformed a little bit. It's going to be a round stone. I'll let it cool some more, then I'll start to facet. stone is now completely round and I've also pre-polished up to 8,000 grit. So it's time to start cutting the pavilion facets. I've cut the main facets at 40 degrees. This Danburite material cuts pretty easy. I believe the hardness is about seven on the Mohs scale. I've now cut the uh, brake facets. I'm using a 1200 lap. And next I'll go to the 8000 pre-polish lap and cut, cut all these facets. Okay, I finished polishing the pavilion. So next is the stone transfer. I'm ready to start the crown now. So we've got the 600 lap on the machine. And we'll start cutting the main facets at 39 degrees. All the main facets have now been cut and I've uh, gone from 600, 1200 to 3000 pre-polish. So next I will cut the uh, brake facets using the 3000 lap and then I'll cut the star facets then I'll polish.
Okay, the gemstone's finished, so uh, I will take it off the top and we'll look at it. Okay, Dan Barite does make a nice bright stone. It looks really good. One and a half carat stone. <laughs> 